This week on Marae, we share our highlights of 2014. Enga mana faka hira hira onga mata waka ote motu faka kuku mai anora. Tau mai ki uta otira ki tota tau marai e horo atu nei. Well, 2014, how's it been for you, Miriam? Uh, well, it was busy, and then it was busy and a little bit busy. Very busy. busy. For me, it's been a typical, not your usual kind of year, especially in terms of our programme, where I think it's fair to say politics has dominated our year. Absolutely. I mean, we began with a farewell to retiring Māori Party leader Tariana Tūria, and post-election we were first to get to know a rising star. She said, my mama, she told me, don't worry about your side. On tour with Marama Fox, she's 44, an educationalist, a Mormon, has nine kids and two mukapuna, and enjoys raunchy songs. <laughs> You're filming me, just stop it. Shout out, my name is Marama Fox, and I'm the new MP for the Māori Party. So I'm going to take you on a little tour. Do that again. Nā reira hara mai, no mai. She constantly relates everything to politics. Did you vote for Honey? Do you want me to take a photo of both of you? Yeah. I'm going to take you to the tree. Marama walked in on the list votes after the election. But if the Māori party falls below 1.2% after the special votes are counted, she's out. Are you excited about being here? I'm trying not to be too excited, because I might only be here a week. <laughs> so Marama's been making the most of her time in Parliament. She stopped Labour leader contender to tell him she supports the notion of a gay Prime Minister. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. Ready? Hold my hand. So, what do you reckon? <laughs> I know all about, it, all about this one, because we did a whole lot of election panels We together. probably did. Coolest thing in here is all Māori politicians starting in this corner. Look, there's Korowetere, Tirikatani Sullivan, who's just beautiful, Fetu, Machudata. Marama's keen to follow past Māori leaders into the House of Government, even if it's only for a week or two. I have to say, look, there's Ngata and Parata and Māori Pōmari. I am fully am in awe, because look at them. They're amazing. So this is the treaty room. <laughs> and we're locked out of the treaty room. Oh my goodness, you could... that's not a sign, is it? <laughs> and I think... But it's hard to keep out a determined fox, especially when she's being inspired by the deeds of her ancestors. No mai ki tēnei whare o tātou, te whare tūpuna o hikurangi, te marae o pāpā wai. Haere mai, haere mai, whakatau <laughs> mai rā. Who have we got here? Ah, well, these are some of our tūpuna who lived at the time of the Māori Parliament that was housed here at Papawai. The wairua abounds in this place. Everything's here. This is where our people came. They wanted to change the world and restore mana, have their own movement of rangatiratanga. This legacy fires up Marama, but she also uses the love of her whānau to fuel her desire to be a politician. This is the family business. This is my day job. It's a good way to get out of the house and avoid the washing, hang the clothes up, doing dishes. Our big boys, I never wanted them to learn how to share. I was like, you're not going to share sheep. But actually, you know what, it's um, helped them get to school, get their school uniforms, get their school books, and if they can share in the summer, they get to uni, hopefully. Hey, son, got to share a bit faster, though. Ben was reluctant at first to support his wife's new career. Oh, a bit of shock to the system. <laughs> yeah, we were a normal family about six weeks ago. Then she came home and said, oh, I'm sitting for the motor party. What do you reckon? I went, you can't do it. It's just too hard. I hope she does stay in because I just bought some new sharing gear and so <laughs> she'll it. be able to pay for it. They both have faith their large whānau will cope with Marama's new calling. One of our tūpuna Whatahora jury helped translate the Book of Mormon. Um, it's vitally important to us. It gives us our moral standing and our, our foundation of whānau. If we can change what happens in our homes, 
we will change society. I just know she'd love to try and make a better world for our Māori people and for New Zealand as a whole. This is where you hope to spend the next three years. <laughs> yes, that's the plan. In this house, Marama is not mum or nanny. She has very strong views and is prepared to fight for Māori. We have continued to have disparities for Māori people for 170 years since colonisation. And we were legislated against in places like this. So our people have been socially engineered. We've been had cultural genocide inflicted upon us. I don't know where we'll be sitting. That's where Pete and Tati sat. Marama could join the Ududorf level as party co-leader, but is realistic about what they can do. You, can't, you really can't put the whole um, future of Māoridom on the shoulders of two people and say it's all up to you, Māori Party. So watch the space, Marama Fox. I'm willing to do whatever they want me to do. I'll support Tūtoro and everything, whatever he wants. Yeah. I kōrero mai te rūnanga o ngā mātanga tōranga pū a rā a Willie Jackson, tau he nare, Dion Tuta me Tina Wycliffe, i o rātou whakaaro kō wai katoa i roto i ngā tūru tōranga pū Māori me te aha i te mutunga iho i riro te nuinga o aua tūru i a reipa. Let's get this straight. Politics is a dirty game. When it becomes nice and tidy um, is the day hell freezes over. Lots of the stuff that happens in MMP is unprincipled. Internet Mana had a bit of a roadshow going over the last few weeks. They've been out and about, they're galvanising a bit it's of support. one big piss up, I mean. <laughs> I mean. There are people out there who are uncomfortable with the alliance between Internet and Mana Party. I myself did not think it was a good idea. I thought it tainted the Mana brand. Young people like it. They like the internet despite these old fogies like Tay <laughs> trying to talk them down. The Greens' advantage is, is Labour. Jack McDonald, you know, the, the, we shouldn't forget yes. Jack. The, uh, the young, 21 year old 21 star year old from the Greens. Greens. Why yeah. can't we forget <laughs> Jack? <laughs> oh, Jack is, yeah. Jack's going to be the Prime Minister the, one day. One day, one day. Winston is Winston and when you're in a, in a, in a, in a group with Winston, Winston's going to shine. Doesn't matter who's on there. It could be Barack Obama. Um, <laughs> but Winston's going to shine because he's a con oh, look, I'm consummate. Eh? He's the consummate oh, yeah. Maori politician. They, they, they sort of did what Toe did, you know, when he betrayed Winston. <laughs> and and so didn't, didn't he, <laughs> didn't he betray Tariana? And he but at least they had time, time to betray <laughs> somebody. And being an incumbent is always. Uh, always money in the pocket. I've known Mika for a long time. What I know about her is she doesn't like to lose. I've always referred to social media, Twitter in particular, as democracy in the pocket. With the leaks, like uh, with with blogging and, and the, the the lessening of control over over you know the freedom for anybody to comment, you know it, it has an impact on pe the way that people perceive the system. When you're sacked in Parliament, when you're sacked out of your minister's job, you can go and cry. Uh, or you can take it on the chin, harden up and, and, and uh, get on with your career. E kore hoki te tahi taupoti e o titika ki te kore he wai ata whakangahau. Hei whakatepe ake te hāmua, you mentioned the manaoki. Oh yes. So let's have a, uh, have a demonstration of one of these manaoki songs there. Hoa, something, that, <laughs> something that everyone can join in and sing along with you. No, I'd rather do something no, that no, they'll just stand there and listen. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, the you step to the mic now Ooh. to see how you are. Got to let you all know the name's Te Hamua. I be keeping it real because I ain't no faker. I give it to you like Warren G, the regulator. Me say all of the E, we want to be kicking it with me. The mad love I have for them, it's really not surprising. It's really not that much of a mystery. Not like a Ma'anunu and a Zai graffiti scene. It's a fresh like the East Coast sunrise. I got the more skins spitting rhymes for a fight. Doing things. They keep their cope up and glorified. You see, I'm alone because my fucker papa be petrified like a rock on Hikurangi Monga. Cruising with the Iwi, never be a loner. I'm the type of fella everybody calls bro. Six foot stallion, well rider, Nazi pro. Whoa! Ah, nice, nice. Ko te āputa i Wainganui i te hunga whairawa me te hunga rawa ko re tērā i noho mai rā hei mā tuatua i roto i ngā pūrongo maha o te tau nei. I tiro hi a ake e tātou ngā tī tahatanga i roto i te mā tauranga, te manenetanga me te hauora. A ko ngā take whare hoki tērā i a te tiro hi a ai i roto i te pūrongo e whai ake nei. At the 2013 census, 72% of Māori said they did not own their own home. 
Well, that's a bad situation for uh, New Zealand's social future and its economic future because high rates of home ownership are closely correlated to much better health and education and work outcomes. So if a big chunk of the population has very low home ownership and it's falling, that's bad for New Zealand overall. We're at Hobsonville Point in Auckland. It's a massive development. 2,500 homes will go in here, but commentators say Māori won't be buying many of those, and that's because the market's broken. It's a jungle and chaos, and Māori are lost in that jungle. My sense is that people at an aspirational level would love to own their own home. Are they able to do it? That's another matter. Even those living under a rock know the problems in our housing market. Get set for more pain. The Reserve Bank's raised its benchmark interest rate for the second time this year to 3% and signalled more hikes to come. With median house prices hitting a new record high last month, home buyers are doing it tough. There are not enough affordable homes. House prices are so out of whack with what households earn that even the government admits fixing the problem may take decades. The general rate of home ownership has been declining since 1991. In 2013, 50% of the population weren't homeowners. The Māori rate's 22% higher. There's a range of reasons why the Māori home ownership rate has fallen much further and faster than the broader uh, home ownership rate. There's a lot higher concentration of Māori people in Auckland in particular. When you look at Auckland house prices, they've doubled or tripled depending on where you are in the last 10 to 15 years, whereas incomes haven't done that at all. If we want to ensure that whānau become more independent, more financially free, then home ownership are one of the ways in which you can achieve that. If we are ambitious for New Zealand and ambitious for Māori, then we need to change those stats. It's a clear election battleground. On one side, Labour are offering a capital gains tax and want to increase housing supply. Why would wage and salary earners be taxed on every dollar they earn, but property speculators get tax-free capital gain? It's lunacy. Building 100,000 more homes uh, will not only feed the social housing market, but step people through affordable rentals into home ownership. National agree housing supply needs to increase, but it's only part of the answer to making houses affordable. We need to be focused on incomes. That is the whole point of the government's broad economic programme to get the New Zealand economy growing so that families do have those sorts of choices like owning their own home. Some argue that a return to traditional values which underpin state homes would benefit Māori. This was a great day, the opening of the first government scheme dwelling. Everybody is happy. The Prime Minister is a state house, I come from a state house, and we've flourished because of that. The reason we have succeeded is because of the security of home. If it wasn't ownership, it was a form of a social ownership, so that everybody was the beneficiary of a good, healthy home. Ko te ana mata mo te reo Māori, e ahu ana tō tātou reo kīhea. Koe a te mūrau a te tini, koe a te wenarau a te mano i tēnei tau rua mano te kau māwha. O tira, tau atu, tau mai, tō tātou reo wānanga tia ai nera. Hioi mo te hunga pērā i a Jenny May Coffin, ko te reo, te raukura o te wairua, te remureretanga o te ngākau. Nami Te whanaunga tanga i wainga nui a rātou. Au mai te pōro. He wārua he, he momo kōwhao i roto i tōku ngākau. Kei te mōhio ahau, ko wai ahau, no hi ahau. Engari, ko angaro te tehi mea, kei te mōhio ahau nāi nei, he aha tērā mea, ko te reo tēnā. Nō reira ai, i noho te hiehi roto i tōku, Ngākau i rotu i tōku wairua mo he wāroa. Nāia nei, kua tau, tāku wairua.
Erua tau ki muri ka huri tōna ao. Hai aha te mahi, ko te reo te whainga nui. Kwa hau, te pauāriki o tēnei pēpi a tāhua rirerere. E hara i te mea ngāwari, te akohi te reo Māori. Ai, hoki oki mahumahara ki te wai i ako ana hau i te reo Māori. I tai atu au ki tōku whare, ka tangi au. Nā te wauwutanga o te mahi, Kāre taku pāpa i kōrero ki a au i te reo Māori. I hari atu ia ki te kura, ki te ako i te reo Māori. Tata ki te ono te kau, tana pakeke. Ka kōrero Māori kōrua i nāia nei? Kōrua ko tō pāpa? Ai, he tino pairawa atu tērā ki a au. He tino tata tōku pāpa ki a au nāia nei. Aroha mai. Ai, he mea rau e kia au ki te kōrero atu ki a ia i te reo Māori. Koe rā, tāna tino hie hie mō he wāroa tini mai, hare atu koe ki te ako i te reo Māori. Nō reira, ai, wai atu au ki a ia i oiki ki te kōrero i te reo Māori. Ai, tino... Hi kaka, te wairua nai nei. Ai. Sam Kane, kei te awhini i te kraua rā nea mo kone. E ai ki ngā kōrero nea, i kōrero mai koko tō te rākea mo kone. Kao, 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 he pātai noa tēnā. Engari, ai, ahi kōrero kia au i te kraua haere ia, ki au nei e kari tū atu i aia ki tāna tūranga. Mōku ake. Engari, ki e tehi atu, ai, ai, ko tō te rākea aia. O, ok. Kia ora e oa. Kāre anō kia mutu te whai i tōna reo, i a wiki kai te pīnakitanga ki te reo kairangi, ki te wānanga o Aotearoa. Ko te kaua maro he manu tēnā, nō reira, ko tāna ki atu ki a rātau, mahi a te mahi, ko ngā hua ka puta, oh, miharo. Ai, nō reira, me ako, mahi a te mahi. Toko maha ngā rangatahi Māori i eke ki te taumata i tēnei tau, whakamiharo ana tērā. Engare, ko tētahi i tino pīata ata mai, he kaiwhakare nō roto mai i te pizzo rā whiti o te waiariki. Kia ora, my name is Boy, and welcome to my interesting world. The Boy is a young man. Kia ora, my name is James Rolleston, and welcome to my interesting world. A world where there's no rush and movies at the deluxe. Here James is happy, even when a director asks him to do this. Welcome to my welcome to welcome welcome to my home. Hey? Just just to be how you were before. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. We'll just go up one more sweet. time. I quite right, like sweet. it when you just look forward. Okay, man, and welcome to my home, Oportuki. See, that's the boys. That's the boys you'll be seeing at Kapaka in the pool. That's the boys. That, that's the boys that I've. Oh, the boys. See, they see my car and they're already winding their windows down because I could already see them going out the window. <laughs> It's always good to get out of Aupo and go check out the city for a little while, but then that's only for like a couple of days, then I want to come home and yeah, just come back to Kauaro Pōtuki. So I still got all like, all my best bros, we all in here, like we're still all close as. Still, still go to school together and that. I love being here because of it, like no one really like freaks out about me being around or anything like it's only when I get go out of Opu that people like freak out over me and then it's, it's like, yeah, I just get all shy and then, yeah, <laughs> like I don't really like school, I actually miss it when I go away. Well, Portuguese not perfect. There's gangs and not a lot of local work, but on the whole, life's good in this humble Eastern Bay of Plenty town.
Uh, this is the wharf. This is where uh, everyone, oh, heaps of people come fishing and swimming. But uh, not today, because she's a bit nippy. <laughs> and there's that smile, the one Excuse that's charmed that? us in the Vodafone Jeez, ads. No what? This place isn't all as cracked up to be. The one that shines at red carpet events. And of course, there's the natural talent. You know, well, what do you want to say to all the um, other body, uh, uh, Māori actors that are coming up? Oh, if he's, uh, if he's on a try and crack it, just go hard. Dude. Don't, don't hold back like I was a little shy fellow in class. And, I just got the opportunity and I took it, so yeah, shit. James Rolleston as Mana, he's just, ah, he's my idol. I, I, I look up to him, I think he's a wonderful talent. A talent that helped his team at this week's Kapahaka Nationals. A talent that secured a lead role in his next film, The Deadlands. Yeah, it was a bit, yeah, it was, it was a little bit difficult, um, Especially because it was all in, um, it was all, all te reo Māori. There was all like all in that. You know, I'm not fluent to anything in that. There yeah, was difficult getting into the character at first, but I got there and there yeah, was, yeah, I loved it. One of my favourite characters I played. Yeah, I hate James Rolleston. I'm really proud of him. He's busy, which is more than I could have hoped or dreamed for him yet because it's such a hard industry to, you know, to survive in. But the lure of Hollywood hasn't turned this young head. His feet are firmly on the ground, thanks to Nan. Oh, she's just always told me to watch out for myself, like, yeah, like, kind of keep on a straight line, don't drift off and, yeah, just stay the same. I'm, I'm lucky as to have good mates and like we've been mates. I still have the best mates since we were little as went to primary. And yeah, they've just grounded me hard out like have that oh, I haven't changed the book. Given the choice of a premiere and a school ball, there's no surprise which James chose. Is this just how it is? Cash. 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 After 10 days on the film publicity trail, this is precious time. They hunt together, dive together, and tonight, they're out to make an impression together. Oh, I need a, I need a step first. Oh, I need a stepper. My, my things are too tight. <laughs> Going to the ball in true or Portuguese style. What's a limousine? Just there. Despite the cold, it feels like the whole town's turned out. And no, they're not all here to see James. Jump over here. Jump over here, kid. At just 17, it's hard not to see magic in James Rolleston. And wherever it takes him, he won't be alone. <laughs> Nā, mahi pūrongo ai mātou o marae mō ngā tikanga haumaru wai ia te tau. A, ko te tūmanako, mā aua pūrongo e hihiri ake ai o tātou whakaaro ki ngā mōreareatanga o te wai. Engari, hei ki ngā tatauranga ahakoa tō tātou whakapau kaha me kaha ke ake tātou. Tēnā, kia tūtaki tātou ki e tahi taiohi e mōhio pai ana ki ngā hua o te ako i ngā tikanga haumaru wai. I just love being out here. I enjoy every moment that I'm in the water. You don't really see many Māori out here. Oscar Hari's been training for this day for two months. I was quite nervous coming into the theory stuff, um, but it was good because I like studied for it. To become a lifeguard, you have to swim 400 metres in under nine minutes. Oscar did that in under six. You need first aid skills. You need to know how to use radio communications. And of course, knowing how to rescue someone is key. Lillian Hanley has patrolled Bethel's Beach for seven years and knows exactly how hard the lifeguard exams are. Uh, 
Kaitimata Meki. Now there's a new initiative called the Diversity Project that's providing free gear and training to get more Māori and other ethnic groups volunteering as lifeguards. Although Oscar's not a diversity candidate, he was inspired by Fano to become a lifeguard. My older cousin, Miro, she used to go here. She used to be a pretty good lifeguard, so I thought I'd carry on kind of her legacy kind of thing. And then two of my cousins have just joined, so kind of starting up a family thing. <laughs> The Grant sisters have been making it a family affair for more than 10 years. I joined when I was seven or so because I was scared of the water and my dad wanted to get me like more confident in the water and like in the sea. Both sisters are passionate about water safety. It's kind of a New Zealand thing to go to the beach. And it's just really important to know your, like know the beach and know where to swim and not to swim because you know a lot of people do drown every year and so it's just important to know, you know, know your surroundings. Living on an island, we are surrounded by so much water. Um, we love our kaimuana, uh, we love to swim, our babies love, love to swim and it's really important that we protect them and that we teach them about the conditions of the beach. Knowing how to handle the conditions can save your life. Pia Goldsmith from Te Araroa has been a lifeguard for 15 years and now she instructs other guards how to be confident in the ocean. There's nothing like being shown the power of the sea. You learn your place when you get into these into these waves, and you you really uh, understand and respect it so much better. Her message to Fano heading to the beach is a simple one: Don't swim outside of patrol hours, or like in patrol hours, making sure you're swimming between the flags. Here at Bethel's, as far as I know, we've never had a death in patrol hours. We've never had a death when there's been lifeguards here to to help and that's really that's the important part we can't save you if we're not here what would you say to maori whanau who have been going to certain areas certain beaches for generations yeah there's that there's that relationship with the water and and that's when it's like we need you to become surf lifeguards we want to know that that if we can't save your whanau then you're there to save your whanau and oscar's whanau are leading the way now that he's a qualified lifeguard it feels pretty good and it's just like feels like I've accomplished like more than just becoming a lifeguard but like being part of like a good social group. It's just like real cool to be a part part of. The next lifeguard recruits start training in November and Surf Life Saving Northern Region are keeping an eye out for more young Māori to join their diversity project and train towards keeping swimmers safe. So next week we'll be celebrating the first week of 2015. And what better way to celebrate the achievement of Rangatahi than with a special show on young kapahaka composers. Mate Matsu are ongo itera momo wairua e mohi waira to me pehe te whakaputa i era kare a roto. Thanks for joining us. Have a safe and fulfilling new year and now stay tuned for Waka Huia. E mihi tau hou atu nei ki a kou te katoa e hoa mā whakakite a te tau ki a whai hua ai te tau. Kia ora hui hui mai rā tātou katoa. He mea tau toko na te mānga.